where do we go from here? You know, how do we, what, what, what should these partners look for? What are some of the trigger points? One of the guys on the chat is just asking about cabling and what kind of ethernet cabling. So what do these guys have to look forward to? I think that, you know, Cameron, I think that's, don't you think that's a logical next step here, Cameron? Is it what, where, where do people, what's the trigger points? Is that kind of a, what do you guys think about that? Well, oh, you're on mute there, Cameron. That's probably better for everyone. <laughs> you know, I mean, I think, I think the, a question, you know, like MSPs and VARs might have and partners might have is like, what are the milestones I'm going to encounter that's going to indicate to me that this is a good opportunity, right? In the coming in, in weeks and months, really. Yeah, that, that, that really is. So, so uh, let, me, let me answer that very prescriptively so you know, people can sort of nail this down. We've talked about a lot of this stuff, and Drew spent a lot of time talking about the applications. So look at the applications. What does your network need to support? Are you supporting video? Are you supporting augmented reality? Are you in education where now you're wondering in the next school year, will you create a hybrid learning environment that relies more on digital technology? If the answer is yes to those questions, that there is your trigger point to upgrade. Uh, look at the devices in your network. If you're, again, look at education. No parent is going to send their kids to an expensive university with, with two-year-old technology. It's just ridiculous, right? That's, that's penny-wise, pound-foolish. Uh, they're going to give them the latest smartphone, the latest thing or wizard, whatever it is the kid's going to want. So look at the devices in your network. If those devices are migrating, you absolutely better be on Wi-Fi 6, right? Absolutely. So those are the trigger points that, that tells you when, when you are probably too late, actually, to, to start upgrading. So look at the applications, look at devices. Consumption also, I think to pull hmm. on the questions from the chat, when you start to look at consumption and what these devices are doing, uh, you know, I saw my consumption in my house go through the roof. I've got my kids for the summer, they're home, you know, and uh, there's lots of Twitch, there's lots of, uh, <laughs> there's lots of streaming video, tons and tons of TikTok going on at my house. So my Wi-Fi consumption is going up and the amount of capacity is going up. And one of the questions in the chat is, can you run you know, two and a half gig or five gig uh, to these devices? Because as you stack on more devices, then you also have to worry about, you know, are you hitting the, the threshold or the limitation of what your wireless access point is capable of? So Rad, I'll, let, I'll throw that one at you. Um, do you know of any uh, wireless access points that support two and a half gig ethernet, just out of curiosity? Well, the, um, the, 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 in terms of the actual throughput that the device can push, or actually the in the interf everybody has an interface. Both, <laughs> both, both the interface and the throughput. Yeah. So it, it look, I think to some extent, it, it is like this, right? Um, you you may buy and get excited by the you know buying a new car, and you look at it and say, man, it can go fifty miles per hour, and then you are uh, driving it forty miles per hour stuck in traffic the majority of the time, right? So to some extent, there is always People say, hey, for the money, I want to get the best I can get, right, in terms of performance and capability. And I think you're going to start to see that more with, uh, you know, increasing video and more AR, VR type of thing. Certainly, that's going to push the limits of the bandwidth. But in today's network, possibly, uh, probably not. I mean, in the majority of cases, it's not pushing, uh, probably pushing sub one gig in most access points. But it's really about deploying network. Uh, looking at the horizon, right? Next five years, four years, whatever your time frame is, and some some people sweat their assets a little longer, keep it for seven years perhaps. So it's really looking at forward-looking view, right? But this tag on to this, right? To to Cameron's original question, I think, guys, speeds and feeds are great, but ultimately somebody is writing a check, and they're going to see, and you know, the situation is tight right now, right? With COVID, budgets are tight, uh, resources are tight, and people are going to say. Do I do it now or do I do it like wait for six months type of conversations? I'm sure it's happening. It's important to realize that, you know, that if one thing that COVID pointed out is networks for all enterprises are mission critical, right? That's becoming a more and more the lifeblood of your business. So really it's important to address uh, what is happening out there. The Wi-Fi is more than just connectivity. It's a platform that's delivering business services, right? If I like, for example, if I'm a retailer and I want to do mobile POS, is my, hey, is it going to freeze or going to work reliably, right? Uh, you look at the K through 12, uh, I mean, uh, primary school or even higher education, uh, perhaps they're doing, you know, introducing more video-based instruction, more online testing, et cetera, that 
how do I deliver a bulletproof experience for the students? You know, we don't want to give another, my dog in my homework ex excuse, right? My, hey, I couldn't connect to the network and I couldn't complete my test in time. So it's really- hey, I've used that. I've used that. I've totally used that before. It works. <laughs> No, so it's really that, right? It's really looking at saying, and that's something uh, as we we need to, uh, you know, as a, engage, when you're engaging customers, it's good, good to kind of have that discussion saying, hey, what, what are the use cases in your network? And uh, how can Wi-Fi 6 help with that, right? Ultimately, that's, you know, to Cameron's point, hey, what are the, what, what does the journey look like? That's going to be, uh, that's, you know, people soon realize that, hey, this is critical. This investment is critical. I need to go to Wi-Fi 6. Let me push the button now and go, right? So that's, I think, uh, uh, good to have the broader conversation. 